Hi guys, so today I'm going to be very straightforward, uh, but I think this video's topic is what all of you guys have been waiting for, uh, for a very long time. So if you check uh, some of my previous tutorials, some of the popular ones on my channel, uh, many people have been asking me why they can only save up to 10 or 20, um, 20 backups whenever they, they are auto recovering their files. Um, so I have this video here, for instance, and I had this question and I answered, I think the maximum is 20 or um, another comments here down below. Uh, this guy said it only keeps 10 in history. And I said, I think it's, it should save um, the last 20 backups. Uh, so there are quite a few um, other comments like that. Uh, even here, for instance, nine months ago, I said FL Studio is only able to save the last 20 backups. Well, this has just changed. And now you can save up to 999 backups. So the only thing you need to do, I'm not going to waste any time, just go to options. Oh, sorry, the, the very first thing that you have to do actually is go over to the forums, um, go to the loop talk uh, section of the FL Studio forums. So if you go to FL Studio, then uh, you go to loop talk in loop talk. As of the time of uh, this video, it is still in beta version. Uh, it was just released like three days ago, but I'm sure um, I'm sure the time you're watching this, it's already out as the stable release of FL Studio. So if you go here to um, options and you go to audio settings, I'm actually in the wrong menu. It doesn't matter because I can switch to any one of them. So you go to file here and on the file, I covered this uh, in a previous video. So uh, you can choose to save um, every five minutes or before rescue operations. That's the one I recommend all the time. And every five minutes, one new backup is going to be created. And if there are no more spaces, then the oldest one is going to get out of the uh, backup folder and be replaced by a more recent one. So you get the idea. But now you also have this right here, maximum. And the maximum fields by default, I believe it is set to 100. So um, keep in mind, don't leave it to 100 mostly um, if you are working on very large projects that take a long time to um, to work on so you want to increase that all the way to 999 and how you can increase that you can either um i'm not sure you can actually click on any of the arrows but you can just click in the field and swipe up on your mouse uh, if you have a touch screen uh yeah you can also tap the field and uh swipe up is the same thing just keep this setting in mind frequently every five minutes and set it to 999 there are no save buttons here so when you are done just click on that cross at the top and you should be done if i open this again and i go to file settings it is saved so again by the time you're watching this i'm sure is the stable version uh, another advice that i would give is just to go to options general settings and check automatically check for updates so that the next time you open FL Studio and there's an update there will be a pop-up and you always make sure that you are using the latest version of the software with all the enhancements uh, that's it for this video if you guys liked it please make sure you subscribe like it and drop your comments i'll see you next time